Welcome to one of our favorite segments, Book Talk. Yes, indeed. Today we are going to discuss this book, How to Be Interesting. We have three authors here, Oki Sutanto, Rebecca Pinaima, and also Karis Karsa. We will be speaking to Oki soon, but before that, mm -hmm. I, I'm interested because Shafira got that really nice dusty pink book. I would like to know what are you reading right now, Shafira? <laughs> so basically, uh, currently I uh, read two books yes. at the same time, but uh -huh. the other book is quite heavy because uh, the story is about the survivor of the Holocaust. Whoa. Uh, but it's about this self journey, how uh, he can be resilient and everything. Yes. And oh, the other a, one, uh, uh, a man searching for a meaning. Oh, yes. Victor Frankl. Yeah. Victor Frankl. Very nice, right? Yes, yes. It's quite uh, okay. I have to slowly. Yeah. I read it to. I have to read slowly. Yes. yes. But to uh, get more entertainment, I love <laughs> to read this kind of book because. Oh, wow. Well, um, I am a big fan of Harry Styles, but most of uh, not just only because she, he is a musician or you know on stage and everything, but more than that, it's yes. about the fashion icon yes. and break the stigma yes. about fashion and everything, the thoughts, and he really aware about um, mental health issue as well ah. because he is doing. So it's discussed in the book. No, it's more into fashion because I like. Can to you see can you open it? <laughs> Okay. I see. So and basically, because he is so interesting, right? I he mean, is. He, he is the pop icon nowadays. And yes. if we compare pop icon back then, yeah. now, and he's more—I don't know—he's more relevant. He can twist the style like this. Yeah, I know. He pulled it off. Yeah. Only Harry Styles can pull exactly, that off. Exactly right. <laughs> and he is so interesting. I think it's related with this book. <laughs> it is indeed very. How to be interesting, <laughs> even though you are a male singer. You can be interesting yes. not only for a women but yes. for men as well. Yes, exactly. Let's break the stigma. What about you, Marissa? Oh, I'm. I'm <laughs> I've just recently been given a, um, uh, this book, Revolusi. Mm. Uh, it is. Um, it is basically this one uh, by David Van Rijbroek. Mm. This is a very thick book. It's like the dictionary of the Indonesian language. Actually, it's, it's that. That's how thick Indonesia and the birth of the modern world. So I've always been very curious because I grew up not really knowing the full picture of the colonialism mm. that the Dutch uh, did to Indonesia mm. for 350 years. Uh, so this book really covers what happened back then during Ooh, the Dutch colonialism. It's very nice. Yeah, it is a history book. Ooh, um, it that. has been also reviewed uh, very beautifully by Yuval Noah Harari, the writer of Sapiens, as an astounding feat of both research and storytelling history at its best. So the writer is actually was was here in Indonesia uh, when the Sarina bomb happened in 2016. Oh, okay. So yeah, so he started the book uh, writing about that and then he went back to like the history of the VOC and everything. So if you want to know the history of colonialism of the Dutch in Indonesia, read this book, Revolusi by David Rybrook. All Rybrook. right. Yes. So fun. Oh my God. So interesting. I know. Okay. Super, super interesting. But yeah. anyway, yeah. let's not ignore. <laughs> because Our guest history here, okay. can be very interesting. Like this Like book. this book. <laughs> thank you. Okay. Okay, welcome. Thank you. Thank you for thank having you me. Thank you so much for being here. What an interesting book. Yes. Exactly. yes. How to be interesting. So tell us about this book. So, why is it important for humans okay. or for us to be interesting? Okay, mm. actually the idea of this book uh, stems from uh, the shared concerns between mm. uh, the three of the writers, uh, me, okay. Rebecca, and Karis. We met back when we were studying psychology mm. at Atmajaya University. Nice. But, and then we went on our separate ways mm. to pursue our own careers, mm. our own business. And mm. then several years ago, mm. we met at a small reunion <laughs> and then we catch up, we talk, and turns out we have the same, the same concerns to help single people, to help so our friends. So that's where it comes from? People. Yes, that's where it comes from. Okay. The first place. Okay. Uh, and then we create some kind of movement and community called Aramsa, where we educate single people to be uh, upgrading themselves, to be more interesting. Uh, to help them find the love life they always wanted. So that was actually what, the goal. What happened with the yeah. single people uh, no. at the event? I wonder <laughs> how is no, their help. condition? We help them. We, okay. we, we educate them on how to present themselves, okay. how to create a dating profile, oh, yeah, how yeah, to yeah, yeah. talk, how to communicate okay. with other people, okay. and etc. Yeah. etc. Et but uh, <laughs> as it going, as it's going, we found out that 
one of the most pressing issue is yeah. they don't know how to present themselves to right. be more interesting and they don't know how to be more interesting in their own life. But this so, has to be authentic too, right? Yes, 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 okay, yes, go on, yes, continue. true. So we think we have to create something right. as a tool to help them to become more interesting, uh, more interesting person so they can also present themselves and find the love life they always wanted. What are these tools? I'm intrigued. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I'm married, so it's like, it's not like I'm looking for a new person, yeah. you know. Yes, but yes. What are the tools? Okay. The, uh, what are the usual mistakes that people do? Okay. The common misconception yeah. uh, from a lot of people that they think being interesting is something that you are born with, that it's mm. given. Okay. Either you're born very smart mm -hmm. or very attractive, mm -hmm. uh, handsome or beautiful, or you have a lot of accomplishments in life, mm -hmm. or you are super adventurous, mm -hmm. you climb the highest mountain, right. you run marathon, etc. <laughs> et People bling, bling. have that misconception. Right. Uh, as it turns out, uh, some of the most interesting persons that we know, that we read about, that we know of, it's, it's not the smartest man in the room, mm -hmm. it's not the most attractive one, but it's something that we all could learn. Right. We all could learn, we can build a habit around that and we can learn that skill to be more interesting in general. That what is are the these more, skills? Uh, there's four main principles actually. Main okay. principles? Four main principles. Okay, what is be that? More interesting. The first one is self-love and self-respect. Okay. Self-love and self-respect yeah. underline. The second one is curiosity. Mm. Curiosity. Yeah, you have to nurture your mm. curiosity. Mm. The third one mm. is the courage to try things. Courage to try things. Yes. The fourth one is, uh, last but not least, is sincerity. 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 Mm. Mm. That's a great... That is the level or just the point that... Uh, uh, it's just the point. The we point don't know which one comes first. Exactly. <laughs> okay, okay. Because some people will yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. have different cope. But yeah, if I have to right? pick one, the first one is self-love and self-respect. It's very uh, important right. to have uh, since the first. Why is that? Because there's one quote that I really love uh, about relationship in general. It says something like, your relationship with yourself sets the tone of every other relationship you will ever have in your mm. life. I believe okay. that. Okay, I also believe in that quote. <laughs> so if you don't love yourself mm. enough, if you don't self-respect yourself enough, you will self-sabotaging yourself. Correct. You will not let all the good things that life has to offer mm. to come to your life because you don't think you deserve it. Yes. Okay. But when you have self-love, when you self-respect yourself, you will allow yourself to experience all the great things that life has to offer. I That's love. the very first thing. Yeah. That's you can try many things. You can go for the dream jobs you always wanted. You can uh, go to the crazy activities that you yeah. always wanted, but yeah. you you don't think you deserve it. Yes. Uh, and things like that. That's yeah, the very first I, thing. I completely agree with you, Oki, because I really do believe that when someone, when we love ourselves enough, yes, we. I always imagine this image of a tree with a big root with big roots. Yes. We're rooted. Whatever happens, when we're rooted, you know, it's like we will be able to carry ourselves fine. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, that is very interesting. So we can find it in the book as well. Yes, yes, yes. All yes. right, about yes. self-love and everything. Yes, uh, we shared about why people think uh, they cannot yeah. be interesting and what are the misconceptions okay. of being yeah. interesting and how. Okay. Can be more interesting so, in so the popular things or the common issues for people are uh, people tend to feel insecure yes. and uh, sometimes uh, feel like I'm not interesting enough. Oh, yes. yeah. I, or sometimes we feel like oh, my life is so uninteresting or Aww. just just boring and everything. So they become very confused and they don't know how to start their life or restarting their life. Yes. Um, the thing is. Uh, Probably you, you, you can elaborate that uh, the, to start the conversations to make the, them interesting or being open uh, to receive that. I mean, <laughs> how, how, how do you, how do you okay. elaborate that? Uh, actually, if someone feel they are uninteresting, if they are insecure about mm -hmm. their yeah. life, it's, we have to take some time to pause and reflect first. Okay. Because mostly it's mm -hmm. psychological, mm -hmm. yes. so we have to reflect and analyze yeah. first mm -hmm. and we find the root cause, mm -hmm. what's causing that. Correct. Whether it's a childhood issue, mm -hmm. whether it's past experiences, yes. whether it's just a misconception that they have, whether it's self-image issue, mm -hmm. we have to analyze first, we have to know mm -hmm. what's your issue and let's 
start working on that first. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah. Let's... Because this is related to the self love thing yes. again, right? True. I mean, it's like someone True. who's underconfident and think that he or she is boring. Is, yeah, yeah, yeah. Doesn't have enough love. <laughs> Oh, and it will yeah. reflect outward. Yeah, uh, yeah. people yeah, can yeah. see it, of right? Course. Yes. Exactly. Yes. 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 All right. And so yes. it's very interesting because um, how to be interesting. The the title of the book is like a pocket book that yes. people should have. Like, oh, I want to be interesting. So <laughs> okay. how do you divide it uh, each by uh, part by part? Since it's uh, they since it's written by three uh, writers authors. Oh, okay, so we just uh, share the chapters. <laughs> uh, at first, we create the outline and the. Uh, table of contents first. It's like a step by step to be interesting. Uh, uh -huh. Maybe yes, okay. yes, yes. Okay. Uh, at, yeah, at some chapters, yes, okay. it's uh, very practical. Mm -hmm. At some chapters, it's very practical. But at first, yeah. we try to discover why people mm. uh, are very uh, challenged, uh, have their own challenges to be interesting. Okay. At first. Yeah. And then the common misconceptions of being interesting yes. that you don't have to be the smartest man in the room. You don't have to have the most accomplishments, you don't have to be the most talkative one yeah. in the room. Yeah. Oh, often yes. times, if yes. I meet someone who's super talkative, I'm like, exactly. chewing out. <laughs> exactly. Not interested, but talk most, too much. Yeah, a lot of people think that the most uh, talkative one is the most interesting, but it's not always the case. Mm. It's actually right? the quiet ones. Yes, usually the quiet ones who <laughs> listens carefully, yeah. who really cares about you, yeah. and who seldom talks. That's have the most interesting Absolutely. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm reading this right here, and okay. I'm like, hmm, so interesting. So many like uh, titles, uh, chapters the that are thing. interesting. So there's the law of attraction, how to be interesting on dating app. Yes. Uh, how to be interesting so that uh, you won't be single anymore. <laughs> uh, and there is this thing, making the first move. Yeah. Making the first move. Okay, back then, maybe yeah. our parents' generation, back then. Yes. Uh, there's this. There was this expectation that the guys would be making the first move first. Yes. yes. Yeah. <laughs> I guess if we ladies keep waiting for yeah. the guy to make the first move, we're not gonna be a couple. Yeah. <laughs> yes. So I mean, is it okay for the ladies to make the first move, and how, and how different between the two genders? Mm -hmm. And yeah. keep it uh, still interesting. Yeah. <laughs> Even not desperate, that, right? Exactly. Not we, we make a move, but desperate. we um, uh, we're still interesting. <laughs> okay, I think uh, things started to change. I guess yeah. with the younger generation. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, in the internet, there's an ongoing debate on uh, split payment on mm. the first date. Mm. Who have to pay for the first date? There's an ongoing debate right now, right? That's so cute. <laughs> Every now and then, people will debate, but. Who should pay, pay for, for the first date, right? Okay. Yeah. So there's a ongoing change mm. actually at the mm. society. Mm. Previously, uh, men should do all the first move and yes. everything. Men yes. should pay and everything. But yeah. right now, I think gender equality and uh, feminism also uh, try to balance the issue yeah. right now. So, How should we start? Uh, like, what would a girl say if, hey, that guy's kind of cute? Just follow him yes. on social media. No, no, no don't stalk. Don't stalk. Don't stalk. Oh, follow the follow. social media. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And that could work. When that could work. he posts anything, I bombard it with love. Is that love how you bombing, do it? Right? I'm, I'm only doing it to herself. Okay. okay. Actually, we yeah. also uh, explore about this yes. in the book. There's yes. uh, in psychology. There's a law of attraction, mm. and yes. there's why people attracted. Uh, with other people. Yes. Uh, there's one uh, main thing about the law of attraction is reciprocity. Mm -hmm. Reciprocity. When we like other people first, mm -hmm. the other people will tend to like us also. Ooh. So it's reciprocal. So oh. actually, if you show yes. that you care about other people, that you care about someone that you like, someone that you love, uh, Along the way, the, peop the other people will also reciprocate. So basically, yes. we give to receive. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, actually, okay. yeah. Because uh, the other thing about the law of uh, attraction is familiarity. Mm. When you familiarity. are familiar, yeah. When Correct. you are familiar yeah. with other people, you yeah. chat yes. with yeah. them, you talk with them, you have lunch yes. maybe with them, and they see you often. Mm. Yes. Uh, they will tend to grow on you. Oh, yeah. They yeah. will like okay. you more. 
and they will the barrier will uh, start to come off. All right, yeah. naturally, right? So yeah, the aspect of familiarity and reciprocity mm -hmm. that helps to make a first move. Actually, okay. there's nothing wrong with making a first move. There's mm -hmm. nothing wrong. Nothing Whether wrong. you're a yes. woman or a man, make a first move. Yes. It's okay, just do it properly. <laughs> All right, so yes, speaking about the book, what uh, message are you trying to convey uh, through this? And what is the most valuable takeaway from uh, the book that uh, readers can implement? Okay, uh, the first thing that we all can learn to mm. be interesting. Mm. Yes. We can be a more interesting person. Mm. We can show uh, that our life is interesting. Mm. Uh, that's the first thing. Yeah. Uh, you can learn to be more interesting. It's not given. It's not something that you're born with. Yeah. We can all learn to be more interesting. The second one is please nurture your curiosity. Ah, please nurture really your curious. curiosity. Why? Because as a child, we have a big curiosity, right? Yeah. We do. ask about many things. Yeah, do. How the rain forms, mm. what are that animal, yeah. and <laughs> how about many things, how things work, and yes. etc. Et right? But as we grow up, yeah. we tend to suppress, yeah. we tend to limit our we're curiosity. We're trying to be cool. Because yes, we're, yeah, we're be busy cool. about anything. Maybe work, our parents hustle, don't have the time and energy right. to answer our every question. Mm. <laughs> Maybe we have more responsibility yeah, yeah. and we don't have time to pursue our interests anymore. We cannot be too uh, curious about many things. But if we deep dive, if we think about it, if we self-reflect, if you have uh, something that you really like, that you want to know about, you can really nurture your curiosity yes. to be more interesting. Yeah. If you like about a sport, mm -hmm. maybe mm -hmm. you can try that sport. If you like about some uh, activity, mm -hmm. you can like uh, learn about it on YouTube. Mm -hmm. Maybe you can learn to do it. Maybe you can go somewhere to learn more about it. You can go maybe to Ubud uh, to learn something and self-discover and everything. So nurture your curiosity is very important. And the second one is, uh, First inward and then outward oh, to be yes. more interesting. Ah. As I said earlier, self-love and self-respect is very important because you have to self-respect yourself first yes. in order to care about other people. Yeah, and but genuinely you genuinely care. Yes, about other genuinely people. care about other people, and you have to keep feeling yourself using your curiosity, <laughs> learn many things, yeah. try new things, meet new people, maybe take an online course or, or take a new hobby. Mm -hmm. Learn a new hobby and everything. Yes. When you care about your input, it will affect your output. No, right? I agree with you. It will you. affect your output. So, uh, the simple thing is, you cannot pour from an empty cup. Exactly. Right? No. You know, pour I'm from about to an empty say cup. that. Yeah. Yes. Don't let our cup exactly. be empty. Yes. Don't we let our cup have to be fill empty. in yeah. all exactly. the time. Yes. That's yes. what he says from All me. right. So this book <laughs> is definitely one of the books that we recommend for you to read this uh, week. And what about your? You also oh. have a personal. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> I have my own personal uh, recommendations. Yes. All right. Okay. What's that? So this is Thinking 101. Okay. What okay. is the book about? How to reason better, how to live better. Wow. Uh, the Prereq for Life by yeah, Wu Kyung An. Okay. okay. Tell us a little bit about so this. So last year I read about 40 books and this is clearly my favorite book. Wow. wow. This is clearly my Why? favorite book. Uh, this is written by Wu Kyung An. Okay. She's a psychology professor from Yale University. <gasps> I need mm. to read this. Okay. Yes. Yeah. She actually uh, uh, talked about this course right. in Yale University. Yes. Thinking 101. Yes, Thinking 101, but I, I think the course name is not Thinking okay. 101. Mm -hmm. And she also ran uh, her own organization, the Thinking Lab oh. at Yale University, okay. where she discovers why some people uh, think not optimal. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Oh. It try to find out the why and the root cause why there's a flaw in our thinking. Okay. Mm. Why people tend to think and act dumb <laughs> and do yeah. dumb things. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. And yeah. what can we do? How can we improve that? Oh, wow. How can we improve our thinking using the research, uh, the latest research and science uh, science based approach? Wow, okay. very interesting. So we can learn. Yes. <laughs> Uh, the, the one thing I like about this book is mm. because it's written not in academic style, mm -hmm. so oh, yeah. it's very heavy, it's yeah. hard to comprehend, no, it's very easy, okay. the, it's using real life examples, so oh. if you want to learn to think better, 
to make better decision yeah. and to live better, you yeah. should read this book. Whether you're nice. professional, okay. you're an entrepreneur, mm -hmm. you're a student, you're a stay-at-home mom ah, or dad, yes. or you're a government official, okay. you can have benefits reading this book. Wow! So, yes. I'm going to Please buy it book. today. Yeah. Thinking 101 yes. by Wu Kyung An. She's a professor at Yale University. Yes. I nice. also love uh, Dr. Lori Santos also. Oh, the Yale happiness. University. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Science of well-being. Science of well-being. Ah, you and I can talk until yeah. the cows come yeah. home, okay? Anyway, Anyway, thank you so much. Yes, thank, thank you so you. much for coming. Thank and you for congratulations for the book. Thank yes. you. I really can uh, deliver well to the audience <laughs> and be beneficial for yes. all. Yes, hopefully. Yes. hopefully. All right, we're set for a break and we'll return. Ralphie will, will bring you from the world of sports. This is so cool. Yeah.